Have I ever told you I love my men hot and sweaty? Uh, do you ever stop? <laughs> so that's the last thing to see before my exam. Nice. <laughs> Positive mental attitude, that's what it's all about. Do your best, all right? Yeah, it works for me and your dad. You go for it, girl, right? Where do you want me today? Uh, back barn needs sluicing out. Oh, that'll be by me then. I uh, hope you brought your waterproofs. Well, glamour this job, innit? What do you expect working on a farm? Oh, take note. You can flash your legs and flirt like Jordan, but it still doesn't make you attractive. Unlike my gorgeous wife. <laughs> right. Don't be nervous. Right. Go for it. Break a leg. Good luck. Right, you. Inside. You'll have to distract me from work more often. Yeah, well, I'll hold you to that. Ah, an audience. We were just, um, getting something down from the loft. Yeah, right. See, this is what I have to put up with. Right, I best get back. Thanks for the tea. Sorry for bending your ear. Oh, no worries, any time. Why can't you just behave like normal parents? Oh. Why aren't you at college? Lecture is still sick. They never sent you home again. You know, what's your tutor's name? I'm going to give her a call. She's on a course. Anyway, I need to talk to you. All this stuff with Aaron. I still don't get it. How could I have been so wrong about everything? Oh, darling, don't worry about it. I thought he was my mate. You don't, Tim, what do you expect? Uh, not to find out he's gay from the local paper. Uh, you heard it here first, remember? Of course, it's all about you, isn't it? Well, if it isn't, what was me and him all about then? Him realising that if all girls are like you, then he doesn't want to bother. <sighs> That's helpful, Adam. Well, it's true, though. This is the girl that turned Aaron Livesey. Aaron is what he is. You're a friend, you should support him. I'll see you later, sweetheart. Remember my promise. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. I um, had a chat with Holly. Only girly stuff. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. All right, thanks. Look, what I told you, it stays between us, all right? Yeah. One thing I'm good at is keeping secrets. <laughs> Dad, you're going to want to look at this. The fox has got the chickens. It's like saw two in there. Well, thank God Hannah's not here. How many are left? Foxes must have had about half a dozen. We must have got in through here. All right, come on, you. Better get them cleared up before she gets home. Oh, no, don't make me touch those. <laughs> right, you move that stuff in there so we can fix the hole. Okay. I don't want Hannah getting upset, not while it's her exams. I think I can find some replacements, see what I can do. Yeah, I mean, even if you can just get about four, we can say two of them are going to walk about, can't we? Yeah, no worries. Ah. You all right? Like a slap puppy. Well, he's a grown up. He'll get over it. Two pies, please, love. Oh, and a nice big fat check. Well, when you've settled your debts, maybe. I don't remember owing anyone anything. Do you, Ryan? Whatever, man. Then you find yourself somewhere else to drink. Personal disputes out of working hours, please. I'm sorry, but I don't pay you to discriminate. Hello, Wolfhack. You were the lady? Yes. Yes, we do. We won't back down, you know. Not until we get what you owe us. Is that you taking me on, is it? Great boy, aren't you? If you knew what you were up against, you would think again, sweetheart. Nice top, by the way. Right, just put your finger there. How bad is it? Well, it's nasty, but it's not bad enough for stitches. Can't leave you alone for five minutes, can we? I know it sounds stupid, but I actually forgot that barbed wire was sharp. <laughs> As blonde moments go, that's a pretty good one, that is. Can't believe I ripped my top. That was a bit blonde as well. <laughs> OK, 
can't imagine Andy being bothered if it happened to him. Yeah, well, have you seen the state of his shirts? I was very proud of myself for work. Oh, yeah. You do realise you're going to have to have an injection, don't you? What, of common sense? No, it's uh, tetanus. Have you had one recently? Um, yeah, a few months ago. I, I got some glass in my foot on the beach. Oh, no, it's not good enough. Not for a farm injury. The only thing that's strong enough... is this. It's huge! Well, it's either this or your arm drops off. Have you ever heard of, um, gangrenous periteriosis? No. Oh, it's all over the papers. It's, um, flesh-eating bug. It's predominantly found in Yorkshire farms. Are you serious? Deadly. <laughs> come here, take it like a woman. <laughs> Ow! Talk for another. We've got a lot on this afternoon, haven't we? Shame, because I'd like a nice long chat with the barman. Pay what you owe and you can chat all you like. Oh, I never pay for it, love. Never have. Then we'll see you in court. Oh, big mistake. Trust me. Don't people... Only you could get outed by the local paper. Oh, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Sue him? Jeannie's out of the closet. What's the point? See? Aaron. Aaron. Your ex is here. Oh, it's on my visit. What? Aaron! Hey, we're with you in a minute, love. Come on, there you go. All right. Thanks. How are you doing? Fine, yeah. You? Great. Only it's... I'm working. So you're gay, then? Oh, yeah. Seems like it. Even though we... Look, I best get back. So you're not such a wimp after all. I'm proud of you. Give over. No. For being true to yourself. <laughs> all right, ladies. Call me, Aaron. Anytime you want, yeah? See you later. So, this um, <coughs> gay malarkey thing, I reckon I might give it a try. <laughs> it's not funny. So all you've got to do, yeah, to get the girls crawling all over you is come out of the closet. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, I've got this thing about needles. Last time I had my tetanus, I fainted. Now you tell me. You're such a girl, you, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'll drink your tea. It's got sugar in it. Oh, I don't do sugar. You do today. Do you know, I wish it was that simple. Just one injection and everything's okay. <sighs> God, I'm such a mess. You should never have taken me on. I'm sure I'm cursed. Don't be daft. A few years ago, I was in this accident and somebody died. Ever since then, just, everything's just gone wrong. That's rubbish, that is. It's true. If anything good happens, something ruins it. Even on my wedding day, I knew I'd end up divorced. Well, you know, so it didn't work out. It doesn't mean to say you can't try again, does it? <laughs> You'd have me. You're kidding, right? I'm just so rubbish at everything. No, oh, you're not. You're good around the farm, aren't you? Except when you're impaling yourself on barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> and you're funny. Pretty. <laughs> yeah, right. You're stunning, you know that. Anyway, you only scratched your arm, didn't you? You didn't take it off at the elbow. So pull your socks up. Stop being so blonde. And get back to work. I know. We'll call it a day now, right? I'll run you home. Hey, how was the exam? Yeah, brilliant. It's not. It was grim. Oh. Me and Vic want to compare notes. Why don't you stay for tea? Yeah? <laughs> oh, I'm jail, then. Just ignore them. Look, why don't we have a nice bottle of wine back at ours? You going in for a drink? Yeah, I said I'd meet Moira. You coming? Actually, I think I'm going to go off home. You going to be all right? Yeah, I think so. Sorry for being so boring. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Thanks for listening. It's all part of the service, isn't it? Why can't I find a bloke like you? Not many of us around. 
Tell me about it. Yeah. Thanks for being there. <clears throat> you should have done that. Well, I, I, it should I have thought... happened. I'm sorry. 